Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Fruit, and this is episode 5 of our Let's Play series. Today we are going to do some enchanting and get all geared up with diamond armor and diamond tools, and I'm so excited about that. We are also going to finish the interior of our barn and work on a couple other projects. I'm looking forward to this episode, and I hope you are too. Our first round of enchanting, I'm trying to get the best armor we can right now, so let's see what we can get. I do love Death Strider boots, and we have protection for them breaking three on them too! That's just so awesome. Okay, let's see what else we can get. I'm breaking three isn't bad, I wish we had something a little better than fire protection, but it's better than iron armor. Really hoping for Unbreaking 3 with this. Okay, Fortune 2. I don't really see the point of Fortune on an axe, but again, better than Iron Tools. Our last enchant for this round is going to be this Unbreaking 3 book. We still need leggings and helmet and a better sword, but we'll get that eventually. This Unbreaking 3 book will definitely come in handy later. I'm going to put the Unbreaking 3 book on our Silk Touch pick. That's definitely going to come in handy. And I'm also going to heal this thing up. Alright, we're back at the spider farm, and once we hit 40 again, we'll head back and enchant some more gear. Okay, level 36, and ready to keep going. Going to make a few more bows, hoping to get infinity today as well. This isn't infinity, but it is flame, so it might come with infinity. Power 4 and breaking 3! You know, I'll take that too. This isn't that exciting, but we do need um, efficiency on our shovel, so I guess we'll take it. Back again from the spawner, and we are getting ourselves some fancy pants, unbreaking three, and protection three. I think we will go with the sharpness four sword. We only have sharpness three, so whatever else it comes with, it'll be an upgrade. Oh my goodness, sweeping edge three, fire aspect two, unbreaking three, sharpness four. Now that is a good sword. Would love looting three, but uh, again, we'll get that eventually. So unfortunately, the footage of me recording the interior of the barn and my thought process there um, was bad and low quality and fuzzy, so instead I'll give a full in-depth tour of the inside of the barn and show you how I made some of the items. Alright, so first off here we have our wheelbarrow filled with water delivering water to the animals here. We have a grindstone facing into the cauldron, cauldron surrounded by two trap doors and a fence gate. I also made the path up here a little more natural for our horse pen. We topped it off with some lanterns. Speckles here has access to both stalls until we find a new friend. Um, we still have to add water into this area, but I think it's okay for now. Into the barn here we have some hay storage and some barrels crafting table with perfect head height to get downstairs. Now upstairs we have some cobwebs and leaf on the ceiling for you know that overgrown feeling. Then we have a bed up here because I always seem to get stuck over here at night. And a little more storage and we have another wheelbarrow, very similar design but with a composter in the middle and a dark oak fence gate as a handle. And over here we have a little planter pot with just dirt and trapdoors um, and three kinds of saplings. Of course, since this is the attic of our barn, we have our hay storage here with a lantern for a light. Out here on the patio, I thought we could have a little sitting bench to enjoy our view. And let's say someone brought the plants out here to let them get watered or something. I thought it added a nice pop of color to this balcony area. 
And finally, we textured with podzol and more coarse dirt. And oh my gosh, the picture is so cute with the mud and the podzol in there. Oh, and my favorite part, we added a hay part that goes from our fields over to the barn. And it's just here on the side. Something must have happened. One of the hay bales rolled off, but oh my gosh, no. Okay, as I was saying, the this is one of my favorite parts. Why is there another? It's such like a cute design, just using oak trapdoors as wheels and spruce trapdoors as the thing. And I just piled hay on top and one, one bale has happened to roll off. But I just loved it here on the side of the road. I'm going to add podzol underneath, kind of to mimic it getting stuck in the mud, just to give it context to why it's on the side of the road. Just need to light up there so those creepers don't keep spawning. But other than that, everything's looking pretty good around here. So I just got back here and I'm trying to put the rest of our materials away and it's becoming increasingly hard to find space for everything. So I think we really need to get a better sorting system set up. We just have stuff everywhere. So I think the rest of this episode will work on carving this out, getting ourselves set up, um, just a bigger room, making this entrance look a little bit nicer. And yeah, I think, I think that's a good plan for the day. All right, here is everything we owned, relocated from down here. If you're ready for a time lapse, I'm ready for a time lapse. Alright guys, I hope you love that build. I really enjoyed it. I'm so happy with how our storage room turned out and I hope you like it too. I I just really like it. I think it's a great use of all the nether material and we have so much storage space now. It's so great. I'm really excited. I also wanted to show you guys what I did to the front. As you can see here, we bumped out our entryway a couple blocks. Uh, we just moved everything forward, kept it all the same, and on the sides we added these red uh, nether brick walls. It looks fine. Uh, I wanted our entryway to look like it's coming out of the cliffside, and I think it does a really good job of that. Not a huge fan of the nether brick wall, but I wasn't sure what else to put there, so it's fine for now. So I already cleared out this area, and we need to switch this out from our bedroom to a nice cozy library space. The bedroom's gonna go over there to the right, and I really just wanted to make this a nice cozy library and, you know, show our armor off. You know, we always in a closet, but this is our first iron armor. And I just, I just think this space needs a, a makeover. So that's what we're going to do now. So first, I think we're going to, you know, put a little shelf here with trap doors and some leaves. Oh, we got to get up there first. Okay. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. And then we'll put, um leaves up top kind of like the draping over maybe some vines unfortunately since we're in this biome everything's a little dull colored but it still looks pretty good on this wall here we're going to do a recessed bookshelf with some more shelving i think um, i really want a lot of depth in this build and i think this is going to make it look really cozy That's looking good so far. 
we just need some upper ones and some more texture. On this wall here, I'm going to put more bookshelves and going to set up a little computer area and have some potted plants to uh, make it all cozy like. I know I keep saying cozy, but that's exactly how I want it to feel. Some details here. And here. Yeah, and some more here. And a couple more bookshelves up here. And we're out again, and we'll have to go back to the leather farm in just a sec. Going to put some potted plants in the corner like this. Think of having your deck surrounded with trees and indoor garden things. Just going to do a basic stair and slab desk here. I think it'll look just fine. We have birch wood on the walls, and our desk is made out of oak. And we have to replace that floor, but we'll get to it. And no, I'm not just adding rooms because we're low on bookshelves. They do look nice in this circumstance. Now for the super simple computer trick. Just a um, painting here. Oops, not that painting. I need to, okay. Uh, just a painting here and a pressure plate. And you have yourself a little laptop. Just gonna pop a little more storage up here. I feel like I have barrels and chests everywhere and I'm not sure what to do with all of them. We don't have that much stuff yet, but I know eventually we'll we'll find a good use for for all of our storage. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good for now. It's looking so much better in here. And now for the last touch of this room, we have to add the light fixture. It's just a basic chandelier using a hopper on the top and then a chain and lantern. And I'm going to surround the lantern here with these oak signs. I know it's floating. It's going to be okay. I promise. And the last one. And then finally an oak trap door. And I think it's coming together really well. I really like how this all came out. We just have a nice arched um, ceiling with birch and oak planks. But I think it looks fine. I want it to stay kind of wooded over and homey looking. I feel like I keep saying finishing touches, but these are really the last ones. We're going to add a few flower pots um, scattered around. You know, we want it to be very green and bright and cozy. I know there's the word cozy again, but we need to get some flowers for these. Um, I don't think I have any on me, so we'll be right back. And one, two, and three. I think it adds the perfect amount of color in here, and I wish the trees were green. Um, but that's okay, we're in the Mesa biome, so we got to make do with what we have. I just love this room, and I love how it turned out. I love our ceiling and our light fixture, and I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Um, I love it. I just love our library. Alright, last thing, I promise. So, I have a whole stack of gold, and we're going to hop into the nether, and we're just gonna throw it all at some piglins and see what we get. We haven't done any trading, uh, in this world yet, and I love trading with piglins. So let's just find one first. They should be. There's usually one up here. Um, I don't see any. I don't hear any. Uh, let's see. Okay. But I love trading with them. I love how random it is. And we might get some goodies. I'm looking for some crying obsidian to decorate around our enchanting setup. But, you know, I just want to see what they can give us. We have so much gold, because, you know, we, there's more gold in the Mesa biome. So, let's just, let's see what we... Alright, guys. First trade. First mm -hmm. trade. What are you going to give us? There you go. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Something good. And another brick. Okay, next one. Let's see. Anything? Anything? Gravel! Okay, 13 gravel. That's not too bad. That's a lot of gravel. Okay, let's just talk a couple more at him. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to! Oh, I gotta kill you now! I'm so sorry, dude! Oh, I didn't mean to hit him with that gold. I don't think he has any, but we need to find ourselves a new piglin. Oh, man. Alright, let's get down here to the bottom level. Um, see if there's anyone down there. Oh shoot, oh no, he's coming at me. No, no, here, have some gold. Take it, take it, don't shoot me out. Okay, here, take it, take it. Did that de aggro them? I just, I'm just gonna zoom it at him. Okay, well, I guess we found a new piglin up here. Gravel, great. Come here. Okay. Gimme, 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 gimme. Crying obsidian. Yeah? Yeah? String. 
Okay, we have a spider farm. We don't need We have a little less than half a stack now, and we're going to find ourselves a new piglin just to change it up. I know it doesn't impact your trades at all, but this guy looks like a pretty good one. So we have some goodies so far. I'll show you all at the end, but hopefully we'll get some good things from this guy. Leather. We always need leather. Hoglins. We do not need hoglins. Do you think he'll help us um, kill them? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, you get that one. And I have the flame. Fire. Aspect. Go. Go. Yeah, you go with him and I'll get you. Cook for each other. Die. Die. No. Ow. Die. Die. Stop hitting me. There we go. Alright guys, so we're down to our last two gold ingots. We've been given some pretty okay trades. We have some soul speed 2. Ooh, spectral arrows. Um, soul speed 2. We haven't got any soul speed 3. He just needs to come back from here. Last one? Here you go, buddy. And let's hope for some soul speed 3. Yeah? Yeah? And blackstone. I love it, blackstone. Alright, now I can show you the goodies here, splash potions, nether brick, fire charges, soul sand, just your basic stuff. A lot of black stone, which is nice, um, some books, leather, yeah, so it wasn't too bad, I'm glad we did it. Again, we have so much gold, and the piglin trading is so much fun. Just wanted to finish the episode here in our nice new little living room sitting couch bed area. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in this episode, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye now!